mine. See? Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. Watch. Wow. What did you write? I asked them to watch your mother. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here! You okay? <laughs> Matters. Oh. Uh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Oh. All right. That hurt a little. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Why don't you let me carry her up from here? No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I question that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. And he's dead. They're no better than us. And they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. My own father called me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it. Or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. <sighs> Keep your wits about you, boy. If Modi found us, Balder cannot be far. Good. I have a few words for him, too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he'd do the same to us. I will do only what is necessary. And I'll help. No. Do you hear me? I heard you. And these are not subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. Amir, guess what? I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah, oh, congratulations. 
Look, I know I got us into this, but I'll get us out. Whoever I am. I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. Do it! Do it! Stop! Please! He's beaten, Father. Not a threat. You will not come to us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. I've made mistakes. I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Your knife. No. Finish what you started. I can't. help I dropped it when you were chasing the animal what's wrong with me if I if I lost it then you did lose it I'll take better care of it from now on mother always said the Acer were the worst of gods and Thor was the worst of the Aesir I guess he's a terrible father too they are no longer children. They have no excuse. Where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Now, we all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. What'd you find? What did you see in that vault that set you off? It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ha! Mm -hmm. Mother said Odin's disciples fill them with gifts and hang them where thieves can't reach them. That one looked really old. Foolish. What it is? Worshipping the gods? The gods care nothing for them. Men should not pray to monsters here. What does it say? The rune symbolized the three Nornir. Nornir? The fates. The fates. No good comes from them. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. Rhea. When last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. You cannot change. You will always be a 
monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible! Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor, not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us, nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern... Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. It's sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. I know what to do! For a knife? There's no other way! It's not working! The tip worked! But it saved you. 
that was cunning, boy. Yeah. I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. Boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now, like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. We are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We missed it. <laughs>